Hey purse buddies! Uh, I have a very special box today to unbox. I was searching Facebook, as I do, trying to find one of my unicorn bags, and I learned something interesting. You can actually search marketplaces, uh, list sold, you know, selling listings. I'm so excited I'm losing words. <laughs> you can search them all over the country, including ones that there's like no way you're gonna drive to. And some people offer shipping, most don't, of course. Um, and I found what I think might be a very special bag. The photos looked good and I, I, the price was absurd and it was in uh, Illinois. And I asked the lady if she would ship and she said yes. And so she hadn't shipped before um, and I offered to pay a little extra because her price was absurdly low and going to the post office was, you know, it's, it takes work and uh, I just wanted to sweeten the deal so she would say yes and she did and she shipped right away. I asked her to invoice me with PayPal and she shipped right away and she seemed super nice and I didn't ask too many questions because I didn't want to jinx it. So I'm really excited to see what's in here because I'm not 100% certain what it is. Well, it's definitely kind of smushed. How about that? No worse for wear. It's not perfect, but at the price I paid, I didn't expect it. I believe that this is fuchsia? perhaps, or strawberry? <laughs> I don't know, it's definitely medium and not as small, and it's definitely a little bit lightened here on the back, but it looks like uh, I bet conditioning would help it. It is super soft, it smells great, it just smells like a bag, like leather. It includes the strap, and I paid $60. She wanted 30, oh my God. Uh, Oh, look at it. Look, it's so squishy. Well, this worked out. There is a tiny yellow spot. Oh, whatever it was just came off. Now there's just a little, little dark spot. I'm sure that this will condition up nicely. I mean, it's definitely seen some use and um, it's better than I would expect for that price. Uh, corner wear, pretty serious. But Florentine in a beautiful pink and I do not have to worry about using it which is nice it's very soft it's got like a almost like a powdery texture which the other Florentine bags I have do not have I guess that means it's dry well I was recording this in part because I wanted to make sure I had evidence in case I opened it up and had been defrauded. <laughs> Not that, you know, whatever, 60 bucks is the, the biggest deal, but just in case. Look at that. The felt is so soft. It's like uh, the, the suede is so soft. It's like felt, like I said. This is a very soft bag. Uh, and it's very, a very pretty color very pretty color. I'm extremely pleased with my purchase for this price. I'm going to have to condition and stuff this, this guy though. Look at it. Flop. <laughs> well, it was a gamble and I feel like it paid off. I made another <laughs> couple gambles and so hopefully they'll be arriving soon. Uh, I am loving the Facebook marketplace and uh, I will hopefully be recording more videos for you soon because I am feeling better which is awesome. All right, that's it. I am going to stop talking because there's nothing else to say. Well, this has turned into a double hitter. I have uh, hit a bunch of jackpots lately with bags that are cheap that I was able to just jump on, which is great because um, I've been buying too many bags. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, and also I've, I've lost out on a few auctions that I really wanted to win because I was trying to be reasonable. So to turn around and, and find the bag or something extremely similar at a, a really, really good price lifted my spirits a little bit. Cause I'm not totally insane. I won't spend just any amount of money on something. Um, so I tell myself, and I realized that if you're spending very little on a bag and you're like, well, it may arrive and be just totally screwed up, that it's actually probably a good idea to video the unboxing, even if everything's great and you can post it. But if you don't want to post it, you have uh, evidence potentially if it was packaged wrong and destroyed. So you can't easily fake a complete unboxing. That'd be a lot of work. Whereas photos, you know, could be staged. Uh, now that I say that out loud, it sounds like I've got a very devious mindset, but no, I'm just cautious. I've heard some horror stories. So this, I think that this is one of the bags that replaced the bag that I lost at auction. It was very sad about, which has shown up on one of the Facebook groups. So someone else bought it and loved it. Um, it doesn't appear to be the bag I thought it was. Oh, this arrived really quickly. It's a completely different bag. Good, because I'm not sure how the other one would fit in there. I was a little bit worried. Um, like I said, it's gone a little crazy lately. Oh, look. They packaged that fairly nicely in the scheme of things. Look what I've got. A Florentine pocket cross body, I think is what it's called. Uh, not to be confused with the medium pocket satchel. It doesn't have the handles. It's sort of stuffed even, that's nice. It's in baby pink. It's complete, it's got the strap. And I just sold and shipped that olive medium pocket satchel because I realized the bag is just not for me. It's just not my style. Um, and the color is just not my color. I mostly wear like jeans or, or uh, something warm in the winter, especially I get so cold. And like single color t-shirts and all of my shirts are like black or blue. And the salmon doesn't go with that, any of my sweaters or any of uh, the salmon. Did I say salmon? I have a fever. I'm coming down with a virus, but I'm doing this anyway. <laughs> um, the olive just doesn't go with any of the color palettes. It's a beautiful color on its own, but it just doesn't mesh with my wardrobe. So I sold it to a nice lady from Facebook and it should arrive today. I hope she likes it. Um, but I thought, I saw this guy just listed on eBay for $50. And I was like, $50, that seems reasonable. If I don't like it, uh, in terms of the way that it functions or the style, I can sell it on for at least that, I'm sure. Uh, you can see that it has some corner wear, um, nothing too bad. I don't see any color transfer or anything on the back, which is really nice. It looks in very good shape uh, overall. Let's see how's the look in here. Nice and clean, that's nice. How's it look in here? This is a little disorganized. I can put one of those little covers on it. This is not a very big opening. Looks pretty good in there. Key keeper, it's nice and fresh looking, not tattered like some of them. And it's got a little slip pocket and it's got the zipper pocket. I would show you how the phone fits, but of course I'm recording with it. So this pocket appears to be I think this is the same size as on the medium pocket satchel. So this should hold my iPhone plus with no problem. It's got a tiny little nick there. The hardware seems to be in good shape, which is nice. It's not always. Yeah, everything looks pretty good except for the cornerware. Um, and it was like, you know, a risk as usual, $50. You don't know what you're going to get. I don't think the person sells a lot of Dooney bags, so we shall see. I'm going to, clean and condition it anyway um but yeah I'm very happy with this for $50 I'm gonna see how it fits like actually 
I have found that a lot, none of the duty straps are long enough for me to be comfortable wearing them crossbody across my actual boob area, shall we say? I'm five foot seven and plus sized, and my chest area is extra plus sized. But this is a, the three part strap, which I've, I don't have any bags that have a three part strap. So let's see, I think it's a bit longer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that actually, that's actually very comfortable. It's really nice and, and compact. And I like that the tassel is on the zipper. So let me see if I can move my iPhone and show you what that looks like on my actual body. It actually hits on my actual hip and not my hip bone where a lot of the other bags fit. This is actually going over the boob area, which is great. I actually really like this because this is the actual like natural length for me to get in and out of it, like at the where my hand rests. And it's not gonna get in the way here. When stuff's up here, I don't know, it gets in the way of me moving and then I'm not a fan. And so I end up wearing it sort of with the strap across my upper chest area. So this is great because I can just go like phone in out. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I really like it. I wasn't sure. I really like it. It's it's simple where the medium pocket satchel has a lot more going on. And I think that that actually makes it a great crossbody that it's simple. Well, that's it. I'm actually expecting another bag that I got for $100 coming soon. And I will definitely do that as an unboxing and upload that video as well. Till next time.